Good afternoon. I'm glad you joined me. Today we're going to read the Butterfly Alphabet Book. This book was written by Brian Cassie and Jerry Palata. It was illustrated by Mark Australia. Since it's an alphabet book, it's rather long, so I've marked some of my favorite pages to share with you. Let's start with A. A is for Apollo. Apollo butterflies are the high-flying champions of the butterfly world. They have been seen almost four miles up in the mountains of Asia. D is for dog face. When it is flying in a meadow, the dog face looks like many other yellow butterflies. But when it lands, the poodle faces on its wings are easy to see. G. G is for great purple hair streak. All kinds of hair streaks and other beautiful butterflies love small flowers that grow in clusters like the lantana on this page. Planting, especially to attract butterflies, is called butterfly gardening. L. L is for life cycle. The life cycle of every butterfly begins with an egg. The egg is laid on the surface of a plant. Almost all female butterflies lay their eggs on certain preferred plants. The gulf fritillary lays eggs only on the leaves of a passionflower vine. Its caterpillar hatches from the egg and begins eating the leaf on which it was born. After growing and shedding its skin several times, the caterpillar pupates into a chrysalis. Before long, the adult gulf fertility emerges from the chrysalis to start the cycle all over. Q. Q is for Queen Alexandra Birdwing. Of the 20,000 or so known species of butterflies that exist in the world, this is the largest. This butterfly painting is its actual size. Y is for yellow angled sulfur. All butterflies have two fore wings and two hind wings. That's a total of four wings. Butterfly wings have upper sides and undersides that are usually entirely different colors. Can you find the two yellow angled sulfur butterflies in this illustration? Did you see it? One, two. Would you like to make a butterfly finger puppet with me? When you're finished, yours might look something like this. First, let's make the body of the butterfly. This is where your finger will have to be placed. So, let's create a tube that your finger will fit into easily. Not too tight though. You want to get your finger out easily. You'll snip that page and glue the loose ends. I used paper clips to make those ends stay in place while the glue dried. I did something similar with a wider piece of paper. This is going to be the butterfly's head. So I've made his body in his head. Now, let's make his wings. You might use typing paper or even notebook paper. 
You can make those lines, you can color those lines and create a really pretty pattern. Or if you have colored paper, feel free to use it. Here's how I made mine. Take a sheet of paper, fold it in half. Now you'll notice that I outlined one half of the butterfly. I laid the body right there so I could decide about how big the butterfly's wings needed to be. Do a thumbs up. That's the shape you're looking for. It'll be a little bit bigger, almost like a mitten with a gigantic thumb. Once you've traced around one side, you'll cut out your butterfly. Remember, cut around the line, not the fold, so that when you unfold the paper, you will have an entire set of wings, all four. You'll wanna glue your body down and your head. Use your scrap papers to make some antenna. I created some eyes with some little scraps of paper and a Sharpie. Now I'm ready to have my own butterfly puppet show. Won't you join me?